Alright guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today we are going to go over why I believe efficiency is king, or why efficiency is the most important thing and the most important thing that you should be paying attention to when you're buying, buying stuff for your home farm or even a large scale farm or anything in between. And we're going to go over why I think that today, and if you think differently, I'd like you really to try and change my mind in the comments below. So. I hope you like this picture that I got here, it's something I made recently, and uh, let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this is Red Panda Mining spreadsheet. So thank you Red Panda Mining, I really appreciate this. Uh, I'm going to use this today, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about at home, usually, or in a large scale environment, the limiting factor is going to be power. So you're going to run out of power at some point or you're going to run into a limit where you're no longer able to cool said GPUs or whatever you're mining with. So in this situation, I'm gonna show GPUs and um, the efficiency difference. And by that, I also mean, let's get back to that heat factor. So even if you're limited by heat, you might argue it might be better to run like a 3090 versus an A2000, and that's not the case because the heat generated is based off of the wattage that you're pulling. It's a direct correlation. So by that idea, what I'm going to show is, let's pull up the calculator real quick. And in an at-home environment, you usually have a 100 amp panel, right? So if you have a 100 amp panel, it's a 240 volt, meaning you have two legs at 100 amps. That means you really only should pull 80 amps, correct? And even that, I'm going to assume we can pull 80 amps, meaning you really can't run like an AC or any other things on this because you're already at the 80%. So let's just assume that. Now this is going to be different for everybody, but I'm going to just make these numbers somewhat simple so that we can look at them today. So 80% is 80 amps times the two legs. That's times 240. That means you're about 20,000 watts, 19,200 watts that you can pull in your house safely. And even that, you're kind of pushing it, but we're going to use that as an example today. So 19,000 watts is your limit. Now if I close this calculator and we come back over here, we can look at Red Panda Mining's sheet where he's got all these different um, cards down below. This is really nice. He's recorded all of his clocks and everything. So this is amazing, especially for what I'm going to try and do today. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the most efficient card. So if it says on ETHash, A2000, and this is the most efficient right now that we know of, right? So the ETHash algorithm, mining Ethereum, the hash rate is 41.08, and the watts is 69 in the software, and he measured this one with the Elmore Labs PMD, which is also 69. So if we pull up the calculator again, and we say, okay, we have 19,200 watts available, and we divide that by 69 watts. And again, I'm not going to account for the CPUs that it would take to run these because it's very minimal and a lot of the other stuff because the fact is it's just coming down to the efficiency of each of these. And then we can talk about, well, how many cards can you fit on a, a board and etc. And I'm not, I'm not really going to get into that. But if we take 69 watts in there, we divide that 19,200 watts available by 69 that means I can have 278 of those A2000s before running out of power, technically. Now, if I multiply that 278 times 41.08, right? That's the hash. So I can get 11.4 giga hash in my house with A2000s, technically. Now, that is amazing. Now, you might say, okay, what if I ran 3090s, right? I get 125 mega hash for each of those. Well, let's go look at that. So if we scroll all the way across here in the bottom of Panda's sheet, right here, we have an Asus Strix RTX 3090. And he says the most efficient one here is going to be this red one, I believe. So, 100, and, oh no, that's the max. The most efficient is 120 right here. So we will put 120 hash rate and the watts in the software is 319 so we're going to use that 
just like we did for the A2000. Now again, you could say, well, you know, the card is actually pulling technically more than that, etc. Yes, it is, but because it's NVIDIA to NVIDIA and not AMD versus NVIDIA, the correlation between the two should be similar. It should be off by about the same amount, if that makes sense. And again, let's at least look at the results and see if it's even close, because if it's close, we can debate about things like that. If it's not, then it's not really a debate. So it was 319 watts each card, 19,200 watts available in my house, 319 watts. That means I can have about 60 cards, right? So let's multiply that by my 100 and how many, how many hash rate was that? 120.4. Awesome. Multiply by 100. And 20.4, 7.246 giga hash. So we're talking about 4 giga hash difference between the two, right? Remember, here's the number down here 11.43 giga hash with those A2000s versus 7.2 giga hash on the same power draw. That is a huge, huge difference. So that is why I'm talking about efficiency is king when you start talking about this now another way to look at this is if we start looking at profits so hold on let me, let me pull that calculator back up uh, we have 278 a2000s at 41 mega hash right and we have 60 30 90s so if i start pulling up the profitability on what to mine right here so if I put in 60, 30, 90s right here, and now you would need to fill in all of these hash rates and everything, right? Because already I can see that this is low. It's amazing it knows exactly 19,200 watts right here, though. That's pretty good. But let me change my hash rate, at least on the Ethereum, so that we're comparing apples to apples. So my hash rate on Ethereum was... 7,246 mega hash. So let's change this to 7, 7,246 at 19,200 watts, right? And then we'll hit calculate here. And that means we're making $349 a day. That seems pretty good. Now, another way to look at this too, let me just mention real quick is rig density. If you don't have a lot of space, 280 cards is going to take up a lot more card space than 60, right? Now, granted, those 60 are a lot larger. You're going to need larger power supplies. It's going to be harder to cool them. You're going to need more fans. There's a couple of differences there, but we're really just talking about the profit profitability difference. So now we're making $349 a day on the 3090s, the 60 3090s, and it, we're really making after power. At 10 cents, oh, I'm sorry, I have it actually at my power cost here. Let me put this to 10 cents, and we'll calculate that. Okay, so it's costing you $46 a day in power. Now, that is another interesting thing. I had it set up at 25 cents a kilowatt, and that can really start affecting things as our power costs increase. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's very rare or never heard of for the power company to contact you and be like, hey, we're going to charge you less. It's usually give me money or, hey, we're going to need more money in the future. So that's something to consider. And if we start changing this, the spread is a lot larger. So to run these 3090s, it's going to be the same between the two. It's going to be the difference in profitability because we ran it at 19,200 watts, right? Now, if I plug in our 11.4 giga hash up here, 11,400, I believe it was 11,430. And I calculate that, we're making $550 a day, and it's still going to cost us about $46 to run it, because it's the same power cost, right? So that's the difference. And then when you start dividing that out, like let's say that the profitability goes to one-tenth of what it is now, you're not going to be able to make nearly as much. Because here I am, if I divide this by 10, 
Okay, I'm making $55 a day-ish, right? Because it's $5.49 divided by 10, that's about 55 bucks a day. So $55 a day, and it's gonna cost me 46. If we go back to the other example, it's still gonna cost me 46, right? And it was seven to, hold on, it was seven two four six. So 7,246 mega hash. Hit calculate and scroll down. Okay, so it's still gonna cost me about $46 a day, see? Because it's still 19,200 watts, correct? However, if I divide this by 10, I'm only making $34.85 a day, and it's still going to cost me $46 a day. Now I'm losing money. And that's exactly what I'm getting at, is efficiency is king here. And you can scale that all the way down, too. It's going to lose you money running that 3090 at some point versus having a really efficient uh, GPU to mine with. And that's why, again, some people are saying, oh, if you can get your hands on them, get a 3090 or get something that's less efficient and that's great I completely agree with you it also depends on your power costs and everything else but in the long run long term over years period of time efficiency is what really really matters now it's you are gonna have to figure out and do your own research about where the line is drawn as far as what you're willing to pay for a more efficient GPU versus a 3090 or a 3080 Ti or a 3070 is pretty efficient. A 3070 Ti is also pretty efficient. Um, 3060, not so much. 3060 Ti, pretty efficient. However, some of these GPUs out there, you, you really got to consider that. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, again, do your own research and figure out what's best for you. Maybe it's rig density and I'm completely wrong. Leave that in the comments down below and you tell me. You try to change my mind. But right now, from my standpoint, it looks like efficiency is everything. So thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking at some of the numbers that we have here. Thank you, Red Panda Mining, for letting me use this uh, spreadsheet that you've created here. It's beautiful. I'll leave a link to this down below. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe or try to change my mind down below, I'd really appreciate that. And you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.